you tired of paying full price and waiting for sales on your games? Well, let me introduce you to Instant Gaming, where seriously, that is no longer an issue. Massive discounts on all your games. Make sure you click on the link in the description and get that checked out ASAP. Do it now. Alrighty, everybody, the time has finally arrived where some major updates have happened to Arms Trade Tycoon and it is now technically in Alpha. So we're going to start as the Brits, just like before. And I'm going to show you exactly what has changed. Now, I am supposed to be in contact with the developer, but we've not had time to actually meet up for a good chinwag just yet. But believe me, there are many things which have changed and many things which are still to be changed. But the backbone is basically there, I believe. But it's still very much in alpha, so don't get yourselves too giddy. It is not finished. And we're going to go for T and moist how do we like that wonderful so yeah i'm not gonna read all that with you essentially yeah go away right if you've watched the demos you'll see that this is essentially completely different to what it was <laughs> it really is right, i'm just gonna turn that music down a little bit because that i think might be a little loud i'll put it down to 50 percent there you go, that'll do. Want to make sure you can hear my beautiful voice of goodness, hopefully, while you're having a lovely cup of tea. So, there is a campaign of sorts. It is there, and there's many features which have... Honestly, it's a different game. It really is. If you have to look at that demo, it's a different game. Now, this is available to people who have supported them on Patreon and such. That is still available now, and if you wanted to go do that, then you'd probably get access to this right now. Nobody else can do it. So how wonderful is that? Now then, so the year is 1914. We have our company. It's what it is at the moment. And obviously war has not quite started yet, but the company's are thinking of building tanks and us being British we need to build the tank and get it test driven and everything else there's look I tried to show some of this in some of the previous playthrough that I did but at the time this was not right yet <laughs> it, it was not ready it was just more of a testing different features kind of thing so it didn't work how I wanted it to do but it is what it is so we have I'm not gonna go through everything with you I'm just gonna try and play the game a little bit so we need to design a tank I think we've got the fundamentals straight away for the first one uh, yes I think we do uh, honestly I can't quite remember where everything is I think it's in engineering or design but still we've got research that we need to do all the buildings are separate if you click on them you've got loads of different bits on them which will uh, that is essentially upgrades the building and I don't want that I want see I don't even know what all the tabs are yet we've got the research and yeah completely different to how it was you've got structure firepower and mobility we'll go through these later on in a little bit but first thing I want is a female mark one turret um and we want to stick a few people on it yep yeah, let's go do that wonderful the mark one is the cannon turret essentially and the female one has two machine guns and i do believe that the british military high command are going to preferably want a tank with millions of machine guns on it to murder infantry and we'll see how we get on with that we'll move over to engineering that is already designed okay so that's good so this is what I was on about you do actually get I don't know what that is about oh we've got a glitch in the matrix and we're good again there we go it's not the game being spazzy it's the laptop has a meltdown every now and again but no uh, so this each tank has different components all of this you can bring it on 
These are all the different bits, what it's made of, everything. You can even put bloody hatches and doors on it. Each one of these is a thing that you can put on. That doesn't quite make sense. If you've got the roof on it and you've got a whole hatch, I don't see quite how you're going to get out of there, but I suppose you could. Don't know if it'll catch, but... <laughs> That's not my problem. But then you've got all the turrets. This is already designed. That is with the cannon, so they'll go on the side. That's a cannon. Six pounded naval gun of some sort. This is our trusty Lewis gun. Each of these, by the way, you can all modify in many different ways. All the engines and everything. Obviously, they'll go inside it. And then you even have the tracks. And with the way it is... You can intermingle many different parts. So as we go, I'm going to do this as a mini playthrough. I don't know how far the game will let me go, but we'll just keep going, I guess, until it won't let us go anymore. I just have no idea how far that is going to be. But, um, yeah, I know there's many French tanks and things in there. At some point, I do believe it's going to be playable for, for many different countries. And various other things. So that is going to be definitely interesting. Oh, this as well. We can't show you that just yet. But there's reverse engineering. If we were to capture some of the enemy's tanks. We can reverse engineer it. And then either build those tanks ourselves. Or take parts from it. And stick it in our designs. How wonderful is that? Now we're in the engineering section. I think I want the design. We'll try that. Yeah, Mark 1 series. Yeah, we need to create said design. So we've, uh, we start off with all these bits already done. Now all these bits need to be stuck together. So to do that, you can do it. So we've got the hull, which has got many different things in there. That complete, that even ammunition. Everything that you put in it is in there. It's great. The potential for sticking stuff together and making it work is just ridiculous. That's the engine. That's going to fit in there somehow. The tracks, as you can see, we've got two big gaping holes in there currently. Now, if you really wanted to, you can just stick an armor plate on there, but we want a weapon. So we're going to stick one of them in. And then on the other side, this could be different. The flexibility to do what you want is marvellous. And this is going to be the weapon that goes in there. Currently, the only one we've got sorted is the cannon. The Hotchkiss six-pounder. And we've got a slot for a lovely Lewis in the front, so that you can wiggle around. Now, there's all of these stats up here. We've got mass limit, which is the weight. That's what these can take. The Caterpillar tracks. The volume limit. That's volume inside of the tank. There's crew. Now, obviously, they take up a lot of room. Requirements for all of the different things. So you need crew in there. We'll stick a commander. Uh, See so yeah, how that's going up a little bit now. We need a driver. We'll probably stick two gunners in there. Uh, two loaders, maybe. And uh, two mechanics. See what happens with that. Now, see, we've, we're all in the yellow, so they're okay. But the volume limit is getting a little bit close. Now, what we can do is get a man, which can do a little bit of both, I suppose. Load a mechanic. Oh, no, not that one. Uh, I want gunner mechanic. No, I'm not happy about that. There you go, mechanic gunner. Ten. 10, that's full. Uh, everything's pretty much full, apart from the commander, but we'll be fine, I'm sure. Now, crew performance. The attribute group has four defects. Your tanks will not be perfect. There's many issues with them, especially in these early ones, and we do have to sort them out at some point and adjust and modify, which can all be done. This is the thickness of the armor on all parts. Bottom, the ricochet angle front. We can ricochet a lot more, which hopefully that's where we're going to get hit. Now there's different damage sorts. There's kinetic 
shock spall, which is like um, splinters almost, and community. I don't quite know what that one is. Uses shape charge effects to damage the crit. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. Let me know if you know. Uh, this is the mail. Uh, each part has its own stats. That's how much detail goes into this. Now, at first, you might think it's a little bit overwhelming, but no, it's not too bad. You just gotta. Once you get into it, you'll be fine. So, reliability is a big thing. The structure isn't that reliable, and either is the running gear, which is. Well, not great, but we've got now expendables. We can stick ammunition in here. And you've got to watch various bits. So I'm looking at the volume limit. I don't want to fill it up too much. Now you can only have one sort in there. And that's all the same shell. Standard ammo for the Mark One. I. I think that that is for the Lewis. Yep. And then we're going to have fuel in there as well, otherwise it's not going to go anywhere. And that is marvellous. And then we can even paint our little lovely... Well, it's not little, is it? It's massive. Now, our tank. Now, it would be nice if I can just zoom out a little bit. I don't think it's going to let me. Oh, yeah, there we go. So if I go on paint, I can paint it whatever colour I want now. We can go for a... Whatever that says, Dunkel Grew. Someone will know how to pronounce that properly. Or we can go for some funky colours. And that's more deserty. I don't think that's going to be suitable for World War One on the muddy battlefields of the Somme, for example. Now you could go for a, a pretty standard green, or we can go for something really funky. Uh, what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments what you reckon, because what I can do if this video comes out, I can uh, look at the comments, which I do do. And let me know your favourite one. And I'll consider doing them in that colour. There will be many tanks to come, don't you worry. But because this is the first one, and I quite like that one, I think I will go for that. What do I go for that? More of a classic British, isn't it, I suppose? I think we shall do that one. Now we can select how many people you want on this thing. Uh, somehow. Yep, yeah, there we go. 60 people are going to be on it. It's going to take 18 days for them to bung it together. And then that will be all sorted. So now they're busy. Oh, wonderful. And we've got a few other things to tend to. I need to get to the administrative building and hire some magical people which are going to sort out the lads uh hq no not that one where's it gone i need a hq you've got to click the different buttons to do it i do wish the music was in the loading screens and in here for example but we've got these people these are available and they do various good stuff we've got salary but if we can get these in early it's going to take five days to get them in, but by heck are they good. Just, just get them in. Just get them in. That is lovely. Now we can stick them in a building. So if we go to the factory ground, what they do is they can speed up the production. Um, research, reduce your costs and everything else like that. Uh, it's going to take them five days to get there, so we'll just have to wait for that. Now we've got, what, half a million? There's our expensives. So engineers, workers, building maintenance, 8k. It's a lot of money, is that? Predicted balance, 450k. And that's per month, man. So hopefully we can stick that tank together rather quickly. Now, we do have a warehouse. You need to get all your resources in and so on. But I do believe it's a lot easier than what it used to be. And I think we just need to wait for the tank design to be done, but I'm pretty sure you can grab it and uh, just set it off, which is rather nice. Let's go back to the factory ground. I do want to do a bit of upgrading. Because if we've gone through the administrative... I can't even speak now. Administrative... <laughs> this place. We can add in various bits like... 
this so allows you to reduce the maintenance cost of every building. And for 10 grand, that by 5%, I mean, it'll add up, won't it? I remember from the demo, these do add up to huge amounts, and we also want to make sure that fires stay down and accidents don't happen. So if we can get these in there while we've got cash, we'll be good. Construction department, that will sort that out. What is this? Ah, uh, bank loans. Yeah, that, no, that was never a thing. Cost of building and facility improvements is significantly decreased. Nice. Decreased influence in numerous countries. That will be a big one later on. Don't know if it's in the game just yet. Ensure that your instructions are carried out fast and accurate. Bonus to administrative perks. Oh, that's quite a nice one. We'll leave that for now. If we go back up here, we want the production hall. We want a sub-assembly line. This will improve our mine our cost. Saving money is a definitely a lovely thing. Yeah. And uh, let's find another one. Increases the number of employees per line. Okay. It's quite a nice one. Uh, what else do we have? Welding hall, casting hall, riveting hall. That will... Reduction of production costs due to availability of riveting machinery. Oh. But that is only for one specific part of the tank. Okay. Yeah, fire tank. Oh, so you've got to have all these little different bits. Well, that's nice. Required for production of all tank components. Aha! Now that's the sort of one that I want. The bending hull. Required for production of all tank components. Yes. If we can get our money's worth, I'm happy with it. That structure hardening. Again. I mean, yeah, sure. We'll get some of these in. Cutting hull. Required for all... Oh, we won't let us do it anymore. Not quite sure, might. Maybe we've just <laughs> done too many. But reducing cost is rather lovely. What about the research? Can we reduce? I think it'd be fine for now, to be fair. This is various different bits. Reduction of research cost for different bits. See how much detail there is? I mean, once you get into it, you'll be laughing. So I'm now going to progress time a little bit and we're going to see what happens. There we go. Yes, so we need to, uh, we've already done that design, but it's going to tell me to go do it anyway. So it is what it is, but we can read the other one. Look, acknowledging the importance of tanks and high commanders decided to separate all future tank measurements from the machine gun corps and assigned them to dedicated military branch within the official name of tank corps. Currently, four new tank regiments are under formation, and you can expect new tank contracts to be announced soon. That's what we're getting ready for. And the Western Front has, well, begun. And we can see battle reports and everything else that go on. Oh, these are all the different groups. Uh, these aren't fully made yet, but each one of these has their own different pieces in there. Look, so they're obviously cavalry. These have RT, uh, anti-air, and so on and so on. They're just infantry. Is it tell oh yeah, there it is. It tells you all here. So they've got anti-tank ditches and some certain grenades. They'll all have their own stats. They've got 13 pounders, so that'll be artillery, I presume. And uh, the whole world is here, so I'm definitely expecting some lovely expansions of this to go on. In the demo we had various points of conflict even in Africa and so on. 
and then they had all the different countries which you can click on and then try and influence them to buy your tanks and so on it was rather lovely and i do hope to see that advancement in this i've not got very far in it so we shall see we're learning this together if you are definitely interested in this game i know it's definitely going to be a good one there's nothing else like it then do please press that like button now and subscribe just to make sure you do not miss out because i'm going to be doing a few of these videos and you don't want to miss out on that do you no 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 oh look here we go battle of lorraine has started so if we go on the battles here it is now we won't know the outcome just yet but you've got all the different landscapes it's off-road it's rural and it's just a bit of squirting about of it now our lads have the anti-tank ditch but i don't believe there's going to be a tank there so that probably won't be effective but you can see the stats of it anyway recon five and so on so when we get into a battle i i hope it's in this but we'll see there was a big animated doodah going on with it and then the grenade shock penetration that will affect our tank and so on and so on there is infantry which was lacking before oh government news following the success success of tanks in the battlefield the high command is ready to form additional tank regiments for the ongoing war effort make sure to invest in your manufacturing capabilities to keep up with rising demand well this is why i've been going a little bit nuts in here now these people have arrived so we need to make sure we get the right people in here so this guy seems pretty good at production running gear where is it maintenance costs and assembly focus here is man hour cost reduction for tank production and so on. we will bung him in there and then we'll come out of that one and then in the research there it is we can stick in a oh they just do turrets and things power unit and so on and so on we'll, we'll, we'll bung them in there anyway it would be nice to be able to have another one in I presume you can do that with unlocking stuff but at the moment we can't so I reckon we'll just stick the other one in oh I don't know in here we'll bung them in there can't I can it because you can get sabotaged and things and oh hey oh check the headquarters for the battle yeah has it happened yet no it's not happened yet you get a few prompts i'm a little bit ahead but we're going to zoom through <sighs> component modification you haven't already yeah we've done all that we're getting there we're getting there so the game actually comes with a minor tutorial just a bit of a soft one it'll point you in the right direction so if you're new to it then i mean i'm presuming it's going to get fleshed out at some point Obviously, right now, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I just clicked on the wrong button. I wanted this one. Look, see, we've got the outcome, and look at this. Utilization bonus. Don't quite know what that is. The potential bonus depends on the urbanization and type of the opposing unit. So I'm guessing different units will be better in different environments. So these were in the forest and off-road. Probably not going to happen. So they're going to get bonuses, mobilization, depending on the degree of inf infrastructure development, the defender gets a bonus. So maybe we have a little bit more. We've trenched a little bit, commander bonus, so each one will get a bit of a... Oh, there's no commander, but they have rank and so on, which is lovely. And if you think you're building the tanks, but you're not commanding them. So these commanders or whoever are going to be using them. So if they are jolly good with them, they might get a lot more out of it. And attacking power for... Well, they had 18. Defender power was... Us. Random seed. The outcome of the battle is determined by the military powers. With the uncertainty of battle represented by the random seed okay 
So what, Britain got a lot? Oh no, Germany won. That's annoying. Right, casualty report. Ooh, regiment has suffered non-critical losses. That's a bit of a wide berth, isn't it? 45 to 89% of the full strength left. And they're happy. <laughs> right, okay, well, we got battered, didn't we? Concluded. Mmm. And then, so they get points. I don't quite know what that does at this point, but we'll uh, see how this goes on. Engineers, we've got people doing that. I don't know if we need all of them, but we're going to keep all of them just for now. And see about what we can think to do. I mean, the research is coming along. I need to get in there. Where's that gone? Research. There it is. I want to know how far away we are from getting that. 27 days left. We need more people. And these are engineers. Yes. Right. So everybody's busy on that. That's good. Workers, they're going to be busy soon enough. Don't you worry about that. Design. How far away are we on the tank? Six days left. In six days, we can build a tank. Right. So let's skip ahead to then. Here it is. Our lovely tank of goodness. Crew nine. Attribute some. Don't quite know what that is. But that's how much it's going to cost to build it. Each thing is broken down. As you can see, the hull is the most expensive. With the it's running gear, or the, the tracks being the second most expensive. And those are the materials required. Now, those materials you all need to buy as well. And this is man-hour cost, which, again... Is just time and wages, essentially. Reputation, apparently five. Don't quite know how they've got five, because it's just looking at it. Now, what I am going to do... Start building... Nine, uh, I don't know. Nineteen for now, just keep people busy. That's going to cost... <gasps> oh, no, that's a lot of money. Hopefully, though, we can make a lot of manara cost. Wow. Total cost of materials. Well, we're going to get that sorted anyway. Because I know full well... Oh, look, 39 days. That's not too bad. I know full well that they're going to want some. What is that? Why is that red? Can we not get it? <gasps> What's going on? I don't quite know. We'll have to find out. It's going to be a mystery, is there? But, if we go back over here, when this is loaded, we can give it a bit of a spin. Here we go. Britain now wants tankage. So, now we've also got a load of our new facilities built, which is wonderful. So, if we go to contracts, this is what they want. They want a tank, so we have our marvellous tank of goodness. And that's going to give us a score of 278. That's how much they like it. Now we can also view our competitor's tank, but we can't quite see it. Now, in the previous one, in the other demo, we could get a, some kind of visualisation. So at the moment we can't, so we'll just have to have a C, but they have a maximum scores of 138. So what we can do, to maximise our profits, uh, I know it says 18, but it is 19. We can make a lot of money doing that, that's profit. And we can increase the time, I mean, how many days is that? What's that, what, a month and a half? Two months, max. Something like that. So, I think we're good. 
we leave it at that, which means that we can increase the profit, which is going up stupid amounts. Let's just make it around there, just to guarantee the thing. And look how much more money we're going to get from that. So hopefully they'll accept that. And because we've already started building, that is wonderful. Now, it would be nice if I can get more research done at the same time. Research is marvellous. Now, that provides a bonus for structure, mobility. That provides... Ooh, increases the number of employees. That will speed us up. That will cost us more in wages, but we can have more people doing it. Rather than having these little dinky ones. Bonus for research cost for different things. See, that's quite a good one. Research, reduction of research cost for modification nodes, component nodes. See, they're all one or two things. So if we had just, oh, bonus to analytic discount. Don't quite know what that is. But regardless, I want to speed research up, so having that building in to get 10 more people in would be wonderful. Now, we do have our tank. We can send this tank through. That's going to cost us 13 grand, and it's going to take a long time. But we can do it. Oh, no, 20 days. Oh, that's fine. And then we can actually get some proper insights into how this tank performs, and we could potentially fiddle with it. Now, we have a proper thing that we could do to actually have a bit of a wriggle around in our tank of goodness here it is wonderful thing marvelous so what we have to do is do this as fast as possible and destroy targets as we go along now there's a tank over there don't think we can hit that because there's a bloody rock in the way. We might... No. Oh, if we... Just, just over there, we might get it. See, the accuracy is quite naff. We just wait for that. This will get us a lot of points. I think we keep hitting the rock. We'll try and get it from down there. Let's see if we can even get down there. I don't think we can actually reach over the thing. So that's a shame, but it is what it is. So we're going to speed around here as fast as we can. Keep an eye out for infantry as well. So we've got infantry up ahead. Let's try and murder it. Obviously, the Lewis machine gun was not the most accurate weapon in the world. We've hit that one. This thing doesn't exactly have suspension, but we've just murdered that one. And there's another one there. I'll probably hit that with a cannon. There we go. Try and get up here. We have traction. That is marvellous. Keep an eye out for nasty things. Thankfully, they do have a little target doodar on them. Now, this thing tends to ground out quite easily, but we're moving our way around. Going through the slalom. There's an enemy tank. Go, 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 go. Come on! Can't quite remember what you get for doing this, but you do get some. We've just blown that one up. Can select all the weapons. Now you can do this with any tank that you design. Let's see, look, there's another tank. Traverse our turret that way. That is now destroyed. We get our machine gun to blast some of these. And the final one. There we go. Let's proceed down the track. Let's stick to the road. I think that's where it wants us to go. 
clumsy little thing and uh, it would a nice feature would be if your tanks could get a little bit filthy on here. Because at the moment they stay perfectly spotless, which is quite nice, but at the same time, a bit of grit is always welcome in my book. So we've destroyed that tank over here. Do we have any more infantry? Can't quite see any yet. Go down here, try not to get stuck. You can see the rounds in the bottom right corner. So we do have ammunition. Some more infantry up here. So let's try and skip that big bloody hole. Oh, there's more there as well. Ah, <laughs> we missed everything. Can't quite hit them. And I missed. Try hitting some of these with the other cannon. There's a bush in the way. I missed that one. Try that one. Look at this multitasking or what? Ah, right, yeah, we're getting there now. I should probably be able to turn and hit that one with our machine gun. There we go. Right, let's keep going. All that, see the score? We've got 165 points there. If we can get 300, I think we've um, completed the test. So we'll just keep going as fast as we possibly can. Still trying to take out as many targets as possible. Keep an eye out for bits of infantry. No way up. Didn't like that bit, did it? Let's keep going. Yep, we're good, we're good. So that is a trench that we just crossed. Which is a very important task of the tank at the time. Those are Liberty tanks, I believe. Oh yeah, we're gonna go through here now. There's another tank there, we'll get our gun traversing. We missed. Reload! There you go, that's gonna be blown up. Let's keep going. Infantry. What does it like to traverse down very much, does it? And I do believe the stats that you have in your tank represent exactly how these perform. Oh, sugar. Where do we go now? Well, it ain't that way. Oh my, Gideon. Where do we go? Oh no! Alrighty. I did it. What? <laughs> I had to do it again because I um, I missed a waypoint, but no, nope, we've done it. So, exceptional performance, assembly points, success in attack will greatly depend on the methodical punctual deployment. Apparently we have a bonus now on the deployment phase and the repair phase. That is lovely. So we do get some benefits from doing that. How lovely is that? Ah, uh, would you look at that? The contract offer has been accepted. And it says 12, but it's not, it's 19. So if we have a, a quick gander, we have until the 10th of the 9th to build 19 of them. We're gonna get a load of money from that. So, we go into the production hall of goodness. That one. It should give us the time on how long this is gonna take. 29 days, so a month. So, we are good. How marvellous is that? So, hopefully... We will be absolutely fantastic. And get a load of money in. 
Now, there are plenty of raw materials and so on and so on, which we could all definitely do with. Now, we can get a load in now, but what I'm going to do is wait, I think. Um, Maybe I should get some in available. I don't quite know how much we have. Oh! It's different parts of the... I can even sell them. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I'm guessing this is what we have then. Oh, this is cool. So we have America. Oh, different prices. Oh, this is well good. This wasn't the thing before. You could buy it from different countries and so on, but... No, this is wonderful. So we can find the cheapest available for iron, for example, and all that gubbins. This is what we have, so we've got around 100k's worth of extra stuff that we can have. So we're going to need all of that, mainly high carbon steel, medium carbon steel, and iron. So if I can get a load of that in now, because with war coming around, things are going to get rather expensive. Now, there's only a thousand available there, but it is super cheap. What is that? Supply reliability. Awful. Oh, no. Oh, hi, because with a maximum potential delay of... Oh, it might take a while, I see. But no, we shall get a load of that in. It's all quite cheap from here. Rubber is uh, quite available. Uh, we'll get a load of that in. There's not much here, but if I can get it, it's a bit, isn't it? So, you never know, it might even develop. Uh, rubber, I suppose we can get 10,000 at that in, can't we? We'll sign that, and then over here, so we do need more. So in Oceana, this is quite cheap as well. Asia is quite cheap. Middle East is quite cheap. Don't have quite as much. No delivery no available delivery line. Eh? Is that because we're getting these in? It might be. Let's just try it. 10,000. Uh, I think we're going to get in one at a time for one area. Ooh. Okay, we'll have to consider that from now on. But we should be good for now. Things to consider. Now, there's something that we can potentially do, and I just need to test it first. So... This is the male sponsor that we have already stuck on our first design. Now, I do want to know if I can... Let's see, we, can't, we can't do it on that, but if we were to come off that, come back on it, see that there's a riveted assembly. No, it's a different one. Now, this one... Is cheap to build. Now that gives better structure. The safety of the crew is a bit hampered, but they're going to get murdered anyway. Structure is a bit better. The volume limit is reduced. I think that's good. I'm not too sure. But still, if it's going to be cheaper, I want to see what it's like to actually get that sorted. So that's going to take four days, and we're going to just see because one thing I've always wanted, especially in the demo, was to be able to swap one part out and bung it on an already existing tank without having to do an entire redesign and make it a new tank, for example. So we're going to see if this works. So that's going to take four days, so that's going to be a little experiment. We're doing it on this because if we do it on a whole, it's a lot more expensive. Oh, good news. We now have the female Mark 1 turret sorted, so we need to start building something else. Well, researching something else. Uh, what will that be? What's going to help us more? This medium hull. Oh, look at that. You get all that stuff with it. That's going to be a whippet, and they're going to need... If this is like the demo, we're going to sell these like hotcakes. I'm not kidding. So I'm definitely interested in getting that. Firepower would be lovely. Um, We'll leave that for now. 
mobility different tracks that will be good the war the war horse is an enhanced version of the centipede model which is what we're using now is built primarily for trench warfare and such is more reliable and agile on the heavily shelled battlefield the ventilation has also been addressed by placing armored blinds in the frame's sides okay so can, can we compare this to the other one? Crew performance is lower on this. Mobility, reliability, repairability. Oh, it's much better. Oh, all that is a lot better. Okay. We're also probably going to need the low running gear because that is what we need for the whippet. So... If we were to... Maybe research that first. No, I'm going to do the structure first. So for that, we have to get this. Homogenous armor is made of, but basically it's a different grade of steel. So that is wonderful. What do we get that for? If we get this first, we're going to improve our next tank. Of the bigger sort, which is going to be probably the female version. So that might be an idea. And then do the whip it, because that's going to take a bit of time to get. But then we can sort this out, get it going. I think we'll do this one first. We'll sort out the war horse. Start. It's only going to take 10 days anyway. Now, we don't have that upgrade yet to be able to have 30 people working. Which is an extra 50% on one thing. When it is done, you'd think we could research a hell of a lot faster in general, which is going to be lovely. And uh, the production hall, I might get this riveting hall because it will reduce cost of the structure of the tank, which is a big part of it. Oh, coming up, build it because I've already got these other ones. Are you mad? Oh, I didn't know that. Ooh, well... All tank components. That should be everything though, right? And then that one. Yeah, no, I think we're okay. Ooh. Oh no, we'll be fine. We don't need more employees per line at this point. What is that recycling one? What is that? Dedicated procedures in at reducing lost resources in the event of a production halt. Ah, oh, I'll be fine. Don't care about that one. Well, what can we do with this then? So we have... Uh, this is a storage thing. Dedicated hangers to enhance storage capability. Resource. Uh, loading. Allowing text to board various types of transportation while reducing the chance of an accident. That's not huge, is it? Provides a bonus for reduction of tank delivery time. That could come in handy. Bonus to resource delivery reliability. Ooh, that's a good one. Reduction of resource delivery time again. Percent of raw materials returned to the player and stored tanks are scrapped. Eh, not too bothered about that. I don't think I'll use it. Uh, selling resources. I don't think we'll get there. Bonus to tank delivery reliability and resource delivery reliability. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Well, I think we'll leave that for now. I don't think any of them are critical to me at this moment in time. What about the workshop? See, stuff like the reverse engineering one, which I definitely want to get in time. We'll leave that for now as well. There is the engineer design and engineering. We've looked at them. We've not looked at the museum yet, but I don't think there's anything here just yet. Because, well, there's nothing there. And in three days, that tank would have finished its design thing anyway. Uh, yeah, we've done that. Then I think we're just waiting. Oh, hang up. Tank trials completed. Alright, let me have a look then.
Right, here is our lovely tank. There are 13 major defects. Oh my Gideon. Um... Yeah. Blocked evacuation path. Crammed environment. Internal obstructions. <laughs> Blocked vision ports. Okay. Insufficient roller travel. Insufficient track tension. How the hell do you fix that? Loose tracks. Insufficient roller access. Crammed environment and uneven mass distribution. Oh my Gideon. Extra power loss. It's the mass limit. Okay. Insufficient vibration dampening. <laughs> Isn't that a problem with the Ajax? Yeah, because that vibrates itself and murders everybody inside of it, doesn't it? Right, so this isn't great. So maybe, because it says the blocked evacuation path, that might be legit to do with that hatch on the roof, which is kind of blocked by this. I did think that might be a thing, but it is nice to know that it potentially is. It won't be these side doors at the back, because... Well, there's a gun in there, yeah, but you can still get out. I think. <laughs> oh, who knows? But now, the saying, basically, it is a bit crammed in there, and it's not a nice place to be. Well, we knew that. But loose tracks and things, how the hell do you fix that? I think it's a good job of getting those new tracks, isn't it? So, hopefully that might solve some of those defects. A new engine, which is smaller, might... Well, smaller but more powerful, might assist. There's definitely things that we need to look at there. But, we do... And we need to go into... Uh, engineering? It might be that one. Because we unlocked and researched that female sponsor. Here it is. See, look, you've got two squirty machine guns on this one. Now, we've got different bits that we can stick on it. However, we don't have that much unlocked at this point. So, I'm immediately going to stick it on with the riveted assembly. Now, we've got a... Oh, turret door mark 1 and a turret door mark 2. The mark 2 is definitely a little bit girthier. I mean, it's going to be on this side, isn't it? So, there it is. And look, each one has its own different shape and it fits and everything. It's lovely. Now, the number two is basically a little bit cheaper, but it's lighter, more armoured, and has a better crew safety rating. So I think that is a no-brainer. Modifications? No, I don't think we can do that just yet. And then a turret hatch. Again... Very similar in cost and everything else, but the bottom one is definitely safer and more armoured. And that's the one at the top. See, look. So we'll go for that and we'll get that sorted. That's going to take four days to build that. And then, once we've got that, we can bung it on a tank and then I go, Oh look, we now have another tank. How wonderful will that be? And the British Armed Forces might like that very much. Ooh, a thing has appeared. Anti-tank weapons appear. New weapons start to appear as a response to rapid tank development. Be on the lookout for hostile units carrying new anti-tank guns, grenades and other weapons. These units will pose extra threat to your tanks. Oh, well, that's not very nice, is it? So, hopefully we don't get penetrated. Oh, we've done that. Female sponsor is done. Oh, lovely. So, if we go into the... Oh, I've got to click it on here, haven't I? Design doodah, whichever one that is. This one. We should be able to bung it on. New design. I'm going to use... Uh, would you like to create a draft of a new tank? No. Uh, I think it's going to be this. Stick an 
engine in it of goodness the centipede trackage now look this is the new bit that we're giving uh, bung on there how wonderful is that and then we have the male sponson mark 2 on there which oh wait well, it is what it is at this point we'll just have to play with it I want to see if I can upgrade it but um oh what is that armored mg seal okay i think that's just if you want to plug the oil i guess but no i want a gun in it and oh look we've got lots of gunnage all of them are going to be in there how wonderful is that lots of five mgs that's a lot isn't it how wonderful is that going to be well we don't need loaders but we do need a commander some Oh, we need a driver. Let's put one of them in first, shall we? Each one has its own different bits where you can bung stuff in, so you can't just stick a load of commanders in it, for example. Let's stick uh, two gunners, two mechanics, and then we're going to have one gunner mechanic, and everybody is happy. Now, this is actually lighter. The volume limit is drastically reduced. Probably because we don't have millions of shit. Oh, it's going to go up a minute anyway. So we'll just keep going. So we need MG. Can't insert duplicate expendables and fuel. So we'll see how this goes. It is lighter. The volume is uh, a lot less cramped. There's a one less crew member in there. I think overall it's actually a little bit of a better tank. So, we'll bung some lovely paint on it. We'll go for the same one as before, which I think was that one, so we'll do that. Sign. That's going to take 12 days. Now, the Mark 1. Oh, look! Edit. We can edit it, yes. So, can we stick that on it? Is it going to let me? Has it done it? Uh, it's hard to tell. I think it has. Won't be able to assign anything onto it anyway, though, because we're busy doing the other one. So we'll have to investigate that. I do want to just be able to edit things. That will be lovely. Oh, would you look at that? We've got a new piece of running gear. So we can definitely look at that. Let's have another gander at research. So we have now that one which is wonderful this is the engine that's in there now one of our first sleeve valve engines by bloody blah, blah, blah this engine was put through a series of tests by the british royal automobile club including running at full load for stupid amounts of hours and drive test for 2000 miles as a result it is deemed adequate for tank duties now mobility protection reliability and everything else yeah but what about this one this engine is a swift modification of the engine used in the London B-type bus. Is it? Okay. Uh, dual Tyler JB4 four-cylinder engine with 90 horsepower at 1,000 RPM. Well, that's a uh, grunty engine. Each engine drives the tracks on its respective side of the vehicle. With steering handle by a steering wheel. Okay. And would you look at that? Crew performance is up. Mobility is through the roof. Protection. Uh, just stealth, apparently. Road speed, cross country speed. Oh, it's, it's all here. Reliability, repairability. That is a much better engine. And that is a component type low power. Okay. Re crew requirements, five mechanic. Well, what's the other one then? Well, that's five as well. Okay. That is technically a low power. I have to keep an eye on that. Crew performance is a lot lower. Mobility 38. Look at the mobility. And crew oh, it's just so much better. Protection. Well, we're going to need that anyway, I think. I might do this one first. We'll get this engine in first. It might reduce. Wait, is there a mass in here? Uh, volume 2, that's the size. What is this? 
volume three. See, we have massive issues with crampedness. So if we can do that first, and that's probably going to be the one that has to go in the little whippet tank anyway. So we'll get that started. And oh, look, we've got our upgrades. We need 10 more engineers. So I better go and hire them when I find it. There we go. And then we can have that boost in research. If we are ahead in tech, then we are going to be absolutely fantastic. I think it's these. Um, no, not higher. But yeah, there we go. Get 10 more. There we go. Yes, I want them. Go back into research. It'd be nice when I eventually learn what each simple means. But look at that. Oh, yeah, we've just shaved about five days off it. Now, that, imagine that, but through long time of playing the game. Yes. Oh, I can't wait neither to actually get going further on on this and uh, see what else this game currently has in it. That will be absolutely fantastic. Oh, there's a lot of potential in this game. So let's just see where we get on now then, shall we? Oh, would you look at that? We have produced our 19 Mark 1 doodads. So, if we have a bit of a gander, we should. Uh, oh, that's a country. Oh, we need to do it in the warehouse, don't we? Um, how do I do that now? Tank storage. I think it's in here. And then, yeah, here we go. A load of them. Um, where's it going? Oh, right, we grab it and uh, tell it to go where it wants. Okay. So we have safety and so on. And the total capacity and the price per unit. Ooh, that's expensive. Oh, but well, that one's not too bad. But it takes longer, but the safety is high. Price is a lot lower. It's going to take 18 days. When was the deadline, man? Um, Good question. I think I need to investigate. Oh, it's down there. 11th of the 9th. And it's the 23rd of the 8th. Ooh. That's going to be close. Oh, look, it gives me a date and everything. So... Oh, hang on a minute. Is that the month or the day? <laughs> I've got no idea, but that is basically a month ahead, if that is the same one there. So, yes, we can go and do that one. Now, I don't want to go with the low meat, or especially not the low one, because you end up losing tanks and they were expensive. So, we can shifty them off. Required by contract. Yes. No, that's good. Wonderful. Excellent. Ooh, would you look at that? Okay. The San Chamond tank design obtained. To assist their ally, the French government decided to grant Britain access to its design for the brand new weapon, the tank. You can now study a new tank that has been delivered to the reverse engineering workshop. Oh, this is good. We can show you this then. Make sure to utilize it effectively and build the best machine possible by fusing French and British technologies. Right. Well, let's have a bit of a dabble, shall we? <laughs> and that is it. How marvelous is that? So, uh, rolling artillery piece. You can even see the rifling in the barrel. How wonderful is that? With a little squirt of machine gun there, big fat light. Like uh, a looking out spot and an escape hatch, I believe. There's a lot of hatches at the front of that. Some interesting suspension. There's loads of suspension, isn't there? Is that a big solid bar in the middle? Is that just... See that? Is that just where it's sat? I don't quite know. I can't imagine that being very good. But, uh, no. Okay. So, we can grab various bits so for example this 
the engine. Is this going to be any good for us? I have no idea. But what we can do is reverse engineer it. Even the chassis. And the gun and everything. So I am going to try and... See if we can extract this power unit. See what the French engine is like. Uh, research one of that. We've got 20 days. Apparently it requires some engineers. But I think we're good. Engineers 70 idle. What are they doing? Are we not researching anything? What is going on? Let's have a double check of that. But yeah, isn't that cool? So what you can do is bung bits from this and stick it in one of your own tanks and then smash them all together. And then if you have a German tank as well, you can smash all three pieces together and see what you can come up with. How wonderful is that? Oh, we do have that engine now. What am I on about? Oh, I don't know. We better get on with that, though. That's just wasting time, is that? Engineers will be coming yet yeah, to it. So I still have 40 people doing nothing. So those are the people that we can do with sticking stuff together. Now we do have that new engine. So we can get them busy sorting one of these out. Now, these are all the different bits that we can stick in with it. Which is marvellous. Now they all weigh different things and they all do different stuff. So that weighs a bloody load and it's very, very, not very great at volume. And brakes, side brakes mark two, that's a lot lighter. And it's better stats. Side brakes, what? I think it's just a different design. But that's just a lighter version again. More manpower, but less materials. And less weight. Weight is huge, so we'll keep that on there. And this is the engine, remember. You can do loads of different bits with it. It's great. Now, Fly Meal Mark II. Again, lighter. Uses less space. That's them bits there. How wonderful. Uh, this one is again lighter uses less space and it's just cheaper and oh brilliant yeah now we've got the carburetors that is better let's we'll stick that on and we have the radiator currently it has the mark two on that mark one is just awful look at that radiator mark two is decent but what about this one this weighs a lot less Oh, what is that? Operational range. Ah. See, this is where you've got to start trading off different bits. So the range on... Well, the this radiator makes the tank go a bit further. Crew comfort goes down a smidge, but it is so much lighter. Oh, it's more expensive. No, it's manpower cost. Okay. Well, what do we want? One that's a little bit lighter. But can't go as far. But it is cheaper. Ooh. Well, operational range. Currently 8. We're bringing up to 10. A tactical attribute that defines the average short range mobility of a tank for various... A key attribute used in the deployment phase of battle. Oh, that's an extra 20%, man. Ooh, see, that's the thing. So this is the cost of it. Man, power, materials, and everything else. Um... Next year, there doesn't cost much more. I think I'll stick with the ready in about two. Now we've got the transmission. So Mark 1 is awful. Mark 2 is better than Mark 3. I think is a bit of a compromise. So the two is smaller, but it's better at getting around. It's a lot better at getting around, and it's more reliable. We have to go for that. Right, so there we go. We can get this engine built. It's going to take four days. Wonderful. That doesn't take very long at all. 
We'll see if we can stick this in a tank. Now, I've probably been blabbing on for a very long time, but you can see where this is going. So I am going to put a stop to this video right now so it doesn't go on all night. <laughs> but yes, there is plenty more to come. You've seen many of the features, but there are many features which are still yet to be shown in this little playthrough. And there are many features that are going to be added as time goes on in the game itself. This is just basically the backbone and they're going to be building from this as it goes on. So don't expect everything to work. I will come across bugs. This is not even alpha yet. This is pre-alpha as such. So there are going to be one or two things, but you, when a game's in alpha, that is to be expected. However, it can also be shaped and grow and there's always something new so I'm very excited and to be honest I enjoyed playing this game even when it was just the demo before and I've been waiting for this for quite a, t a long time just patiently waiting for it to get glued together and now it is finally happening I'm very happy to see and I want to know how far we can get because I don't know how far the developers have done it so I hope you stick around I have a Discord if you would like to join it, ask questions, either the link is in the description. The developers for the game also have a Discord, I'll stick that in here as well. And uh, if you would, please do like the video, it helps me out immensely, and if you enjoyed yourselves and everything else, then liking it makes sense, doesn't it? And if you want to see more, press that subscribe button so that you don't miss out, that would be marvellous. And I shall see thee in a bit. Make sure you have some wonderful cup of tea and enjoy the rest of your day. I hope this hasn't been too long. I've not actually checked, but I'll see you in the next one. Plenty more to come. See you later. Have a good one.